this is like our propaganda report segment where you saw Fox News the five, and I will rank the five Morning Joe, Tucker Carlson, and Rachel Maddow, and maybe someone else that I can't think about right now is definitely the top five. Throw someone else in there, that's the top five. Definitely those four. In terms of, I would say it's almost valuable to see what they had to say, just so you can see what the empire is talking about coming from both sides and know how to counter that. Like, I, I, I can counter liberal bullshit. I can counter Destiny's bullshit, Voss's bullshit. T-Y, and the reason why I can counter TYT bullshit, because I will see where they get their shit from. <laughs> like, I will see Morning Joe, MSNBC, I will see the uh, say their bullshit. So I already, I already know how the Americans are getting propagandized. So what I do, like I said, Max, everything that comes from the U.S. empire work backwards from my conclusion. If Morning Joe is saying that, I'm assuming the opposite is true. The opposite. And I'll work backwards <laughs> until I figure out what's really the truth. Now, this segment I want to show you, because this is a, they got this segment here. Shows why Morning Joe is the motherfucking propaganda show. It's that shit. <laughs> this show is that propaganda shit right here. They fit everything in this segment, CJ. Whole bunch of Western chauvinism, apo- apologizing for the state of the economy and things. Because remember, MSNBC got apologized for Joe Biden. Remember. So it does that while also demonizing China, Russia, and our adversaries. Like this, I made wow. like two minutes in. <laughs> I made like two minutes in while watching this. I was like, this is brilliant work <laughs> like in terms of propaganda. They fit so much shit in here. Uh, they had David Brooks on. And uh, I'm going to give you a reaction. I'm, I'm sure that you, we probably had to pause it a few times because they get so much. So the, the premise of this segment is America has big problems, but I also see a lot of progress. So why do they have to do this segment? They have to do this segment because 80% of their show is like, oh, my God, look at this crazy right-wing Republican. <laughs> That's scrolling back our rights. Like I live in Missouri, like shit's gone. Like the right for women to choose, gone here. Like so then they demonize Russia and China as being authoritarian, uniquely authoritarian. So how do you spin that? <laughs> like how do you how do you completely how you how you tie that bow on that on that box that you're making <laughs> right now? So they say China and Russia are uniquely authoritarian, but on the other hand, we have Congress that is in chaos. Because you got rogue authoritarians stopping the speaker from being <laughs> coordinated. So then they have, so every once in a while, they got to do segments like this. They kind of like explain shit like, yeah, I know we said America going through all this crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't know prepaid, but this is why I found this story interesting. And, and you're going to see how much propaganda they fit in this. I, I got like, like, maybe I was emotional when I, maybe I, <laughs> I went overboard when I explained it earlier yes, yes. last time. Like, you know, I was emotional. <laughs> Me and Mika had an Where argument this, this morning. <laughs> no, see, that's so fucking funny, dude. Because what you see that literally the tone this guy, Joe Scarborough, gives. Let's listen to it. This, this, this was classic. I made two men. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't After seen two it. Minutes, I go, I'm going in blind because after that one. <laughs> <laughs> piece it, it, that's entitled despite everything you think you know america is on the right track and in it you write this see you see this is the part where they gotta tell you this remember joe Biden's in charge right democrats uh maintain the senate so they are in charge of trying to present things are going well heading to 2024 so despite all that bullshit narrative I would t- we were telling you about, about how democracy falling apart, <laughs> now, the crime is on the rise, they were doing those segments all the time. No, 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 yeah. don't forget about that. America's on the right track. Don't get upset. Don't 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 have any revolutionary thoughts. Anyway, let me continue. You got the, they'll explain some more. The story of America is a story of convulsion and reinvention. We go through moments when the established order stops working. People and movements rise up and things change. The culture is a collective response to the problems of the moment. As new problems become obvious, the culture shifts. If there is one lesson from the events of the past year, it is that open societies such as ours have an ability to adapt in a way that closed societies simply do not. Just one thing. As you continue to watch this segment, ask yourself, how is this any different from the worst example you can find of state TV? To keep that in mind. This is literally a state TV segment. Russia has turned violent and malevolent. China has grown more authoritarian and inept. Meanwhile, free dem- democratic societies have united around the Ukrainians as they battle to preserve the liberal world order. America is a wounded giant. <laughs> Guys, this is 45 seconds. You see all the propaganda they <laughs> 
in 45 seconds. Uh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm just like, oh, that word, that word, that word. It's just like, you know what I mean? Go okay. ahead, Nick. Go ahead. Throw in the jab. The China is getting more authoritarian. Russia is inept. Like, bro, it's the it's you guys, the Europe that's freezing their people. It's Americans got millions homeless without health care, but I'm kind of burning my point here. Let's continue. Look at this brilliant propaganda here. America is a wounded giant. That's going to be the thing. They're going to continue to say this. Let's listen. And many of its wounds are self-inflicted, but as America has I go back always been a like societies have united around the Ukrainians as a battle to preserve the liberal world order. America is a wounded giant, and many of its wounds are self-inflicted, but as America has always been a wounded giant, and it has always stumbled forward, driven by an inner turbine of ambition and, and aspiration that knows no rest. It's so funny you say that. If you're looking at it that way. When I talk, David, to foreign leaders... Mika Look at Mika. She's yeah. laughing. She's like, that was good, Joe. <laughs> well, I swear we do so many segments, but she get turned on by, by good propaganda. Yes. I promise to God. So, yeah, that's like good shit. That's like, she can't help herself. Shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. But, but you see how the, America is a wounded giant. We always been a wounded giant. Let's continue. Let's listen to this guy. This is literally I made it about another like 50 seconds from here. So I said, I, I, I always I always say the same thing. And ambassadors, I say, listen, let me help you out here. Yes, we are we are a wounded giant. Yes, we stumble around. But to borrow from that Lincoln quote, we always stumble forward. So if you're gonna place your bets and think that maybe you're gonna bet on China or Russia, you're gonna lose in the end. Yeah, I bro, look how terrified. CJ, these Western <laughs> chauvinists are of the rise of China. You see why they have to do this segment now? There is always doom and gloom. On it's MSN. like it's like man, the United States is gonna be treated like we treated everybody else. That's literally like what what you know, it, imperialist power, the United States, the imperialist core, white supremacy, NATO, all sort of synonymous. There is a fear. You know when you did the entire world wrong. Yeah, you have to. You have to always be looking, watching your back, like man, this and that, stopping out socialism wherever it could be, because yeah. you cannot be put in a position where the people you have abused for centuries now has positions of power. It is a fear. Good, well, and they're well, willing to go to nuclear war. That's why they're willing. It's like, it's nuclear war or be treated like the people I treated like this. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it's the same thing. It's, it's existential either way to them. Go ahead. No, that's such a great point, uh, CJ. And we talk about the, the, the expansion and the prominence of BRICS, uh, China's relationship with Africa. Lula, who just won a giant election, who said he wants to expand on the relationship with China and, and Russia. These are giant things. So they're doing this segment because remember, Warren Joe is talking to the ruling class. Remember, CJ? So yes. he's like, he like gave his message. Like, I'm, I'm telling I was telling my allies, you look, this is the pitch. He's like, I'm telling you, this is the message gotta be. If you think you're gonna do business with China and Russia over us, you understand America's back. And they don't realize that literally to the rest of the world, they sound like a bad used car salesman. <laughs> they say this shit they're like, nah, bro, we might, we doing business with China. Fuck out of here. But you see the like desperation, with the, like, like with the '70s shirt, all different <laughs> yeah. color, with the freaking messed up ass jacket and hair sticking out, and you know what I mean, slicking his hair. Yeah, that's what America is. Go I ahead. want you guys to hear it again because this is the desperate sales pitch that that Joe Scarborough is imploring the rest of the Western showmen to you. Let's let's listen to this part and I'll let it play a little bit more. And we almost get into the no man's territory here. So we are maybe. we are a wounded giant. Yes, we stumble around. But to borrow from that Lincoln quote, we always stumble forward. So if you're gonna place your bets and think that maybe you're gonna bet on China or Russia, you're gonna lose in the end. What? Yeah, I, I think that's right. Let's we often get compared these days to the 1890s. And in the 1890s, we had political corruption. Can you stop it? Crazy. Well, well, had... you, that was a line, literally, just for the ruling class. Yes, 100%. We, we, we get paired to the 1890s all the time. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> what? 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that is literally the ruling class. Michael Bloomberg was like, "Yeah, we are always getting compared to the 1890s, huh?" Yeah, like Michael Bloomberg is like, "Yeah." So I CJ, wait, wait till you hear what he's saying. I almost want to get a reaction. Wait till you wait till you hear him finish the talk because I remember probably like, "Yeah, I know we get compared to the 1890s. Yeah, we corrupt." Yeah, we got a little serfdom going on. No, bro, <laughs> listen to what he just says. He, he, wait till he finishes thought on this. To the 1890s. It, and the 18- this is literally the moment where I, I rage quit. <laughs> this is fine. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It was around the time, about around two minutes in. Listen to what this guy says. It's unbelievable. So, Morning Joe, or Sc- Joe Scarborough, he put on amazing performances now. And this is his guest was like, I'm on prime time. <laughs> this is like the show for the propagandists. He like, let me put on one hell of a performance right now. Listen to listen to what this motherfucker says. Yeah, I, I think that's right. Let's. We often get compared these days to the 1890s, and in the 1890s we had political corruption like crazy. We had rampant inequality. We had the oligarchs. We had lynchings. All these terrible. Look at that mission, CJ. He's like, yeah, we get compared to the 1890s. Yeah, we got corruption. Yeah, we have some lynchings. Yeah, we have the oligarchs. Yeah, we have inequality. What are you he saying? Did, they are not talking to us. They, this is literally proof. They are not. Yeah, Michael Bloomberg, we had lynchings. We had this. And they're like, yeah, we did, huh? Yeah. They are oh. literally not even speaking to us, man. Look at how they described China and <laughs> Russia earlier. The inept, authoritarian. But then this guy said, yeah, we can, we can compare it to the old oligarchs where there was slavery, <laughs> lynching, <laughs> corruption. Yeah, so what? Whatever. We are wounded giants. <laughs> there, that's a wounded oh. giant. Millions of people homeless. Literally half a million people dying in this pandemic that didn't have to, and we have health care. Literally a health debt epidemic, a children poverty epidemic, a family hunger epidemic. Ah, there's a little inequality. <laughs> this is why I click X on the video. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Oh, Let, let's hear that part again, because this is the biggest admission. That's why this guy came in hot, son. You guys see Morning Joe is the king? Morning Joe, this show is the king. This is where the propaganda is burnt. He comes in hot, son. <laughs> let's look, let's yeah. look at this part again. This part, <laughs> we, can write, we can write a segment here after a few more of their bullshit. 1890s. And in the 1890s, we had political corruption like crazy. We had rampant inequality. We had the oligarchs. We had lynchings. All these terrible things. Uh, and there are mm-hmm. terrible things in America today. And yet the 1890s did not lead to American decline. They led to the 20th century, which is the American century. And so my basic point is that a country can do a lot of things wrong if it gets the one thing right. And that's unleashing the creativity of his people. Uh, And so my friend Tyler Cowan, who's an economist at George Mason, says, take a, a piece of paper and list all the things wrong with the country, climate change, racism, the rise of authoritarianism on the right, and then put that all in one column. And then take another, on another column, write seven words. America has more talent than ever before. And Tyler's point is that column B is more important than column A. Column B (laughs) is more important. Listen to what this unhinged motherfucker just said. He said, list all the world shit. The rise of authoritarian only on the right. But no, what? Authority, nigga. The, the intelligent community is supported by the Democrats. The police state is supported by the Democrats. The military industrial complex is supported by the Democrats. Let's play this part again where he said, he like, take the worst thing in the country, the inequality. The, I would add more, the massive poverty, the homeless issue, the hunger issue, the medical debt issue. He said, take all those worst things in our country, but then just take the simple fact that we got a lot of creativity and everything's worth it. <laughs> no, for real, this last part I'm playing, I'm going to write the same here. Listen to what he just said. This is uh, unbelievable. Unser- it's unserious. This, this is really why I think this is why I quell. It is unbelievable. Listen to this. And then take another, take a, a piece of paper and list all the things wrong with the country. Climate change, racism, the rise of authoritarianism on the right. So he said, take the worst thing, climate change, racism, which I assume is our definition as well, the entire institutional system of racism. Mm-hmm. Not, not only the Karens, but the system, the police beatings, the, right. the civil asset forfeiture. He, he, he said, "Take all this shit: the inequality, the climate change, 
take the uh, the the uh, our water being polluted, add whatever you want to that. The pipes exploding in distance area. He said, take all this horrible stuff our country is doing right now, but create an imaginary list of people that think that we are creative people, that we are Hollywood, <laughs> we are entertainment. That's worth it. Yes, he did. All right, let me let, let me say it one more time. I'll wrap this up. Yeah. yeah. And then put that all in one column. And then take another, on another column, write seven words. America has more talent than ever before. And Tyler's point is that column B is more important than column A. And so I agree with that. And so when I look at the country, I think we have a lot of big problems. I think we also have a lot of progress that we've had. We had wage yep. stagnation for decades, uh, and, but that ended in the 90s. Now wages are growing. We had That's a lie. Wages have uh, not met inflation. That's a lie. That ended around 2007. Inequality is coming down, in part because of what Obama did, in part because wages for the bottom are going Can up. you pause it here? Now, if you happen to be a working class person who watches this type of stuff, say you're a boomer, and you're not meeting, the way how you're supposed to take this segment is that, oh, well, I guess... The world, everything is kind of okay. It's just that yeah. it's me why I'm like my life is this way. It's just me because they're saying like we've made progress. And then the other thing, we don't understand the notion of progress is still the existence of white supremacy. They can't yeah. be the same because if white supremacy wouldn't hear, there wouldn't be a progress. It would just be finish line. Great point. So understand progress means it's still here but i guess he admitted it um in in it he i mean he did say we got lynchings and don't understand 1890s who was being lynched he's talking about black people so maybe that's what he's referencing to these police it's, killings it's, it's unbelievable how you just trivial like these issues that we talk about every day is a giant deal medical debt when three black people are gonna have medical debt in their lifetime the high, we are the highest demographic of that millions of people that are going homeless blue cities infested with homeless red seas i'll just show you the report that their infrastructure is completely destroyed like people are not able to raise kids either the police killings work more than ever they just you see how easily he just throw that to the wayside like to put this on one sheet not that big of a deal compared to the genius that we have <laughs> unbelievable that's coming from morning joe the program that the five would call the left program. <laughs> that, that Western chauvinistic propaganda. Truly laughable. 